Hector. Thanks. Yeah. So yeah. 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 Recording? Yeah. All right. We are here live at Millennium Park in downtown Chicago, and there is an Ace and Four meetup. And right here, I have one of my friends. Uh, can you tell me your name? Uh, my name is John. On the forums, known as Zenaida. And uh, how old are you? I am 26. In a couple weeks, I'll be 27. Yeah. All right. So. So, what is the costume that you're wearing right now? My character is Hachiharu. Oh, sorry. My Hachiharu from Fruits Basket. He is the cow lord. He turns into a cow. So, what made you uh, you want to cosplay that character? Pretty much, he's pretty cool, and uh, I just like the costume he wears—the coat, how it's all white. I mean, my white and black because it's a little more thicker for the cold time. So, how long? So, how long did it take you to actually make that costume? Actually, the white coat I I bought at Salvation Army. <laughs> then the black I made. Just like trench coat style, that's maybe a day. The fur, that's just sewing on. It's maybe one day total, not too much. All right, so do you actually like take this costume somewhere else other than here in, in downtown Chicago? Oh yeah, um, last year for our work, we had a costume party where uh, you can make it, like they gave us items to like make a costume. And one was a feather for like a pimp suit. So I wore this and I made a pimp stick and I went to work as a pimp. All right, so like I heard that like people actually go to conventions wearing these type of costumes like do you go to these conventions oh yeah I go to about five or six anime conventions a year so like what is the main one that you go to well our the one right here is ASIN that's the biggest one but I, I prefer the smaller ones like anime Iowa and Ohio con that are you know driving distance away so like other than you do, are there like other people that cosplay too oh yeah that's it um pretty much any major city has like their own cosplay group and like we all gather together just at driving distance. Like I said, there might be a, two or three people around your house, but like within an hour, there might be like, like 20 people. And it's a good way to meet new people. So we all have the same hobby. We dress up as our favorite character, and then we meet each other. All right, so what do you actually do within these conventions? Well, if we cosplay, we cosplay. People take pictures with us. They'll ask us for pictures. We'll, um, if, the, if the group you're doing is big enough, popular enough, like Fruit Basket, that's a not well-known anime but like we, we are having a, a meetup in Ohio con because there's gonna be like eight of us and that's huge for like fruits basket and like Naruto that's like a hundred and some people but pretty much if you can get people from the same anime you get a meetup and then you tell take pictures together so are there like video game costume as well oh yeah Soul Calibur is huge Final Fantasy is huge pretty much anything that's anime related or Japanese related like video games manga anime sometimes it's just like the, pop, the pop rockers too, the J Rock. At anime conventions, you can do pretty much anything you want. Sometimes sci-fi, people accept it, but they won't. It's not as accepted as anime. Just we're open. We'll let you do what you want. So for the people who have uh, never been to a convention or never been cosplaying before, would you like to like actually tell them like what you think? Think of Halloween, but like ten times greater, and like a wide variety of stuff. Like, you'll see some crazy things, and it's like, you meet new people, you learn how to sew, and it's not really hurting anybody, so it's like a good group. So, just a lot of fun. All right, thank you. All right, we're back here live at uh, Millennium Park, and I found another cosplayer here. So, can you tell me what's your name? My name's Casey. And known as Cosme off the ASUN forums. And how old are you? I am 16. So, what costume are you wearing right now? I am wearing Shia from Peter 10. Can you explain to me what the character is? She is a, basically, she's a vampire girl. She's a demon, but she actually appears to be more chibi and angelic than she should be. So what made you want to wear that costume? It's really cute. <laughs> so, like, what's, like, the pro process of actually making the costume? I'm a really bad sewer, so you don't want to see my cosplays, but, I mean, how I make my cosplays is I just cut out the pattern, I eyeball everything, because I'm a really bad follow directions person and I just sew it and it turns out okay most of the time so like do you also like have like commission stuff that people make for you actually yeah this cosplay right now without the pants and the jacket is a commission that I bought from a lady in China and um, I bought it off of eBay for a hundred dollars all right so like other than like cosplaying here uh, is there like any place where you actually cosplay well, I mean, we cosplay here just as like a gigantic group. Like we have a gigantic group of cosplayers out here right now. It's really cold. So, but we go to anime cons. There's so many of them throughout the year, like Anime Central and Reactor in Chicago. And then we have so many different ones like Ohio Con. But 
generally we just go wherever the heck we want. What do you actually do in uh, anime conventions? Well, I mean, we have so much that we can do. We have like the screening rooms where we can just watch random anime, which is playing usually almost 24 hours a day. And then we have the game room, which has DDR, which is my personal favorite, Guitar Hero, all that kind of good stuff. And then we also, <laughs> according to him, it's women in booze, but obviously that's not my protege right here. Um, and then you have the amazing mask where you have Soy doing his skits. We have all these other people doing their skits and just showing off what they got on stage. So have you done a skit before? I have not done a skit yet. I actually have plans to do a Super Smash Brothers skit next year at ASUN. But I have been doing a lot of the walk-ons where I bring up costumes and just wear them onto the stage. All right. So um, do you have like any future plans like within cosplay and conventions? My future plan is I want to go to Otakon and OhioCon, and I definitely want to make a really, really, really good cosplay that has really big wings, but I haven't found out what I want to do with that yet. And finally, uh, for the people who never been to a convention or never cosplay before, do you have like a message to say to them? Do it, and do it fast, because you're a loser if you don't. Period. All right, thank you.